All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Bashai, Bahashem, Racha Kutash, to honor to my elders and apostles of great millstone, which are the men that rule well and who taught us this truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations be unto the elect. All right, the true Israelites are so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole Indians, and uh, those of you that don't have the typical look of an Israelite, but you believe with them 100% truth that Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, this is also for you. All right. Now, although the title will be, The Scriptures Are Pure, Your Hearts Are Not. And the inspiration from this lesson came from, um, hey man, just, you know, having a conversation with some co-workers. Um, you know, they had me fired up in the spirit. So instead, I decided to make a lesson on it. The reason they had me fired up is because, well, I had to stay, for one, I had to uh, stay incognito. They was doing their own thing, you know, talking about, you know. Because it's not wise to try to talk about the scriptures at work. So, you know, I was minding my own business and I just overheard their conversation. And what they pretty much what they was going into is uh, well, what they was talking about was uh, the Bible, you know, trying to discredit the scriptures. You know, one of them uh, who I believed to be an Israelite, but hey, it doesn't matter who, who gives a shit. Right. Um, truth is. Basically, he was saying how, oh, if anyone got it right, it's the Quran, us of the garbage. Meanwhile, he doesn't know that if he would have done his history, you know, his research, he would know that the that the that the the religion of what we call Islam today was created by the Roman Catholic Church. All right. Jake Israelites made up that religion because I'm not going to go deep into it. But just a quick rundown on it. Jake pretty much made that religion to get Ishmael out of our holy land, man. You know, that's pretty much why the religion was made. So, you know. Because then you hear, you always hear the same arguments. Oh, the Bible was translated so many times and all this other stuff. Well, that's Esau's trick bag for you, man. He's trying to, of course, he's going to try to change what's true. You know, if, if it wasn't, because it's a threat to him. If it was not a threat to him, he would leave it alone. That's why Islam is no threat to the so-called white man. It doesn't identify no nations. All right. It doesn't speak about the second coming of the Messiah. All right. In the way that it's supposed to be spoken. Because I believe that it does. I'm, I'm not, I don't think it does. I don't, I'm not sure. I never read it for myself, um, but, you know, because their claim to fame is, is, is complete garbage, you know, Islam's claim to fame, you know, the fastest growing religion, which doesn't mean anything, you know, that just further proves the point of what Yahweh Shai said in Matthew 7, you know, straight is the gate that leadeth unto life, and wide, wide, no broad is the, uh, the one that leadeth to destruction, roughly paraphrasing. You know, but ultimately, the ultimate thing that I got out of it was, you know what, man, don't get mad about it. Do a lesson. And, and the, 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 the title that came to mind was the scriptures are pure. Your hearts are not talking about the wicked Israelites. You two thirds here in America, your hearts are not pure because for you, you need a sign. You know, we, we talked about that. at camp like two weeks, two, three weeks ago where where, you know, our people always looking for a sign. They need us floating in the in, in the air to believe this thing. Right. Well, the only sign that these people are going to get is the, the sign of Jonas, which is the sign of what? When the destruction comes, that's a sign the Lord going to give y'all, man. All right. Because instead of taking unto the word and, and giving it a shot, all right, which is not always, you know, our fault. Esau has, you know, twisted it and turned it and, and turned it into something it's not for so long. And that's all we knew. But hey, if you're pure, you're going to come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Psalms 12 and 6, the words of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai are pure words. As silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times, meaning it's it's perfect. It's 100% pure. That, that's why it says purified seven times. Seven represents completion. All right. It's it's per perfect, you see. And another thing, too, because a lot of people say, oh, the Bible is this. The Bible is that. You have to know what the word Bible even means. The Bible means collection of books. It goes back to the, the, the word Biblios. All right. In Spanish, the word for library is Biblioteca. Right. Which means a, a, pla a place where there's a there's a, a collection of books. All right. <clears throat> um, so the Bible itself, that word Biblios means collection of books. The Bible is what you got the law, statutes and commandments. All We know the whole book being the law. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making this for those of you that, uh, you know, those that need the milk. So. You got the laws, you got the, the first five books, which is the law, you got the prophets, all right, what Esau likes to call major and minor prophets, you got the prophets, what we just call prophets, you got the uh, the psalms or the songs, all right, because that's what psalms means, the hoyum, which means songs, okay, and then what, you got, um, you got the, oh, that's the, which is the Old Testament, you got the New Testament, okay, 
which a new te- the New Testament is uh, was was written in the time of what Yahweh Shai and what it, it it was taught from the Old Testament. You know the the New Testament was just the continuance. All right, because what when you go to the New Testament, what is it? It's the the um, the accounts that the important disciples they were all important, obviously, but you know that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John had. All right. Uh, you got the letters from Paul and the letters from Peter. All right. Titus. All right. You got the book of Titus. You got the uh, the letter of Jude. Right. That's what uh, is in the New Testament. Right. And those are the words of the Lord that are pure. OK. It says thou shalt keep them. O Yahweh Shai, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Right. And on this side, that's why the wicked are exalted, because you got the the the, the vilest man or the vilest men being exalted right now. You got wickedness being held on a high esteem. That's why you have people slandering the scriptures the way that they do, you know? And I don't even want to re repeat what my uh, what what these wicked ass niggas was saying, but they was basically mocking the word. Or they was mocking the New Testament. They said anybody could go, I could write a New Testament right now. That's completely wicked, man. You know, that's what happens when you're a wicked ass Israelite. You're you're when you're not pure, you say shit like that. You know? And what, but like I was, uh, so like I spoke a lot about the different books. That That's what I was just trying to say was I'm encompassing what, mentioning what is uh, contained within the collection of books, which is known as the Bible. All right. Um, the book of Jeremiah is a scroll within itself. The book of Isaiah, the book of Habakkuk. All right. Uh, the, the book of, um, you know, the book of Baruch. You got the letters of Baruch. You know, those are different scrolls that in these, this time were compacted into one Bible. All right, Apocrypha included, by the way. I forgot to mention the Apocrypha Salakia, you know, because I have a sword with it already in it. But that's also a part of the Old Testament. You got the book of Ezra, the second and third, all right, or the fourth. I believe in the Spanish, they combine certain ones to make it four books. But nonetheless, you got the book of Ezra, all right. You got Bell and the Dragon in there. You got, you know, various different things. Oh, you got the continuation of the book of Esther, all right. That all makes the Bible, the collection of books of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And these times, that's how we have it. Back then, we had the scrolls. We had to go get the scrolls. All right. <clears throat> uh, the, yeah, but like I was, like I read in, in Psalms, man, the words of the Lord are perfect. They're pure. Let me get this real quick. Matthews eleven and twenty five. At that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, "I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes." Right. Ultimately, if you you don't believe in the scriptures and you slander the Bible and you slander the men of the Lord. It's because the Lord hid this from you. All right. Because the, the men that were saying this were would, would be esteemed as um, as as intelligent men in this world. You know, people might look at them as men of intelligence. But how intelligent can you be? All right. If you're slandering the words of how about Shimei Shai? How intelligent can you be if. The thing that's worth more than rubies and and, and 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 gold and silver, you don't even have that. The world's greatest riches you don't have. Okay? The Lord hid this from, from the wise and prudent. You know, more specifically talking about the uh, the wicked Israelites, all right, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, because they're back, right? And he and the Lord hid this from them. They don't understand what the micro the the the, the mark of the beast really is, you know? They don't understand any of the scriptures. They might know that they're Israelites, but don't they don't understand the important parts of the scriptures. They don't understand they don't understand what pertains to salvation. Okay, so you know, and, and guess what, man? We 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 say Thawada Yahweh Bashem Yahshua as well because he hid this from the scholars, the true understanding, because they can read this, this the Bible up and down all day and know it back to back, but they will never have the understanding. The scriptures say. Uh, um, wisdom is a principal thing. Get wisdom, but with all that getting, get understanding. And understanding is the most one of the is the most important thing we can ever achieve because we can't even apply the scriptures until we understand. All right, <clears throat> or I'll say we give a better application of the scriptures when we understand. Okay, Second Timothy three and fifteen, and that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise into salvation. Through faith, which is in Amashek Yahushua, which is the whole point of this thing, man. We didn't come into this to look cute on camera, man. We didn't come into this to be, to be, you know, just to get together and eat chicken. You know, like I heard the elder Yashar Wamba say. All right. We get together because the Lord has called us unto salvation. That's what we were called for. We weren't called to 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 put on glorious garments and, 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 have, uh, and ride in on a high horse and have women cry when they see us. 
All right, like like Nathaniel. Okay, we didn't we didn't come into this for that. We came into this to teach, to do what the Lord told us to do, and to receive salvation. That's why we're here. Do faith in Yahweh Shai and give our, our due diligence and give our sacrifice to Yahweh Shai. Like what I'm doing now by making this lesson. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. And is profitable for doctrine, for proof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. Right, which... Let me touch on that first part. All scriptures given by inspiration of the Most High. So that means all the things that are within the scriptures, the Bible, were inspired or was given in spirit from the Most High. Yahweh Shai to his men. All right. And then what? Men wrote these things down when they were inspired, when they were in the, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit possessed them to uh, have these certain visions and then speak these certain visions. And then their scribes wrote them down. You see? When when uh, Apostle Peter um, wrote the letters, he was possessed by the Holy Spirit and inspired by the Holy Spirit, all right, in spirit, to, to, to write what he wrote for us in these times and for those back then in those times. Apostle Paul, when he went out to teach and preach and write letters, he was possessed by the Holy Spirit. You see? Anybody can, you know, and I'll say this, anybody can get up and write a book, but is your book divinely inspired? You know, where did it come from? Where was the inspiration? Because everything has a spirit behind it. Everything. You know, men that write about financial uh, uh, literacy, they have a, a certain spirit on them. You know, when we make these videos, we're possessed by a spirit to do this. That's why people that preach off doctrine are possessed by demons and different spirits. You know, well, guess what? The Bible is written by men possessed by the Holy Spirit. And the Bible and the things that they wrote, the things that these men wrote were profitable for doctrine, for proof, for correction and instruction in righteousness, meaning how to get right through the spirit, through, through the words of the Lord. Verse 17, that the man of the most high may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. And I bring this out often, man. I love bringing out that scripture, these, these uh, scriptures right here, because it solidifies it within me. Why? You know, it's, I mean, it's like, not why it solidifies within me the validity of the scriptures, you know? What makes this valid is, is our faith. All right. And what? What makes it valid is that these men that we read, the, the, we read the things that they wrote because they also had the same faith. They were moved the same way how we were moved. You know, obviously we're moved not to write down nothing, but to, to, to go out and teach. You see, it says um, that the man of the most high may be perfect, thoroughly furnished and so all good works. Right. Because we use the scriptures to get right. You know, to be furnished into all good works. Okay? I'm going to end it with this. Isaiah 6 and 9. He, and he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Right? Because these people, when they hear uh, the, the words that we're speaking, the way we're teaching the Bible, because it's not our words, it's the words that you help us. When they hear these things, they don't get it. When you tell uh, an Israelite that they're the Israelites, they don't get it. They don't want to get it. All right. You know, they say, oh, yeah, I hear you, brother. You know, but they really don't. It says, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, which is all spiritual. It's all symbolic. It's like um, the Lord has made them blind and deaf to this word. OK, which is what inspired the whole this whole thing, because if you're pure, you're going to understand. All right. That's why the scriptures say unto the pure. Let me get that really quickly. Because the whole point of this is, um, the whole point of me bringing this out is, is, is I'm bringing out basic scriptures for a reason. Because it's all about the, the um, it's all about the basics. And what I'm trying to portray is what? That the words of Yahweh Shemiah Shai are valid. If you don't believe it, you know, that means you're not pure. Titus 1 and 15, unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Right. Because unto the pure, well, those of you that have no guile, that speak no guile, those of you that are in the truth or coming into the truth, you are considered pure to Yahweh Shem That's why he called you. Right. To us, these things, the words of the Lord are pure. You see. Oh, let me start up a little bit. Let's start at 14, Titus 1 and 14, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Right. For example, you got these men teaching wayward doctrines. Oh, we don't worship. We don't worship Yahweh Shai like that. That's not how we're supposed to do it. You know, 
And, and you got the Yahweh Echad Israelites, which means most high only. And it's like, or most high is one. And that's it. But it's like, you can't disannul Yahweh Shai. You know, you can't, you know, tell us these fables, man. Saying that you can't worship uh, uh, Yahweh Shai as a God. It's like, come on, man. Those are commandments of men. You made that up. The Bible doesn't say that. You know? The Bible says to kiss the son, lest he be angry with thee. In Psalms 2. And those are Bible basics that we learn. You know? It says that turn from the truth. Right? Because when you take heed unto those things, and to Jewish fables and commandments of men, you're turning from the truth. You're no longer within the confines and protection of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And now you're susceptible to these different doctrines. It says, unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Right? To those of them, those that don't believe, man, ain't nothing pure to them, man. All right? It says, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. Right? Their mind is defiled. You know? If you think you can sit there and say, hey, man, the Bible ain't real. I could write my own New Testament. It's like, yo, you're defiled. Your mind and conscience is defiled. Your perception of life is wrong. You are, you are a wicked individual. You see? It says, Isaiah 6 and 10, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Right? Because you see and hear with your eyes and ears. It says, lest or for fear that they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and comfort and be healed. Right? Because essentially... The Lord doesn't want to heal them, you know. The Lord doesn't want these people. That's why people who who are scoffers, all right, because there is going to be some that repent, and there are some that have, all right. There's brothers we know that that used to scoff but have repented, and, and their eyes were opened. At one point, they had their fat in their ears, all right. But what it says and convert and be healed, because when the Lord allows you to understand this, is to heal you. He calls you in to receive salvation. You see. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered. Talking about how long are these people going to be like that? How long are they not going to hear and, and, and see with their eyes the, the, the truth of Yahweh Hashem Yashai? Verse 11, it says, Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without men, and the land be utterly desolate. So those of you that don't understand, right? Those of you that think the scriptures are not pure. No, your hearts are not pure. All right. And you're going to keep being impure until the Lord destroys this place, until this place is desolate, until you scoffers and you non-believers and you wicked Israelites are no longer a thing in the earth. All right. So keep in mind, brothers and sisters, that the scriptures are 100 percent pure. The hearts of the unbelievers are not. OK. How about Shemiel Shai? have revealed it unto us you know that's why people scoff because they they haven't re they haven't received the truth or they uh, were once a part of this but then left because something didn't sit right with them and they became unclean they they decided to believe those evil suspicions spoken about in Sirach the third chapter all right so keep yourself pure man believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai the 100% truth man so with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Bashem, Rakaq, Dash, double honors to my elders and apostles, great Muslims, which are the men that rule well and tell us the truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations always be to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.